Hi guys, it's Miss Carmen again, and I'm so excited to be back this week with another video project. This week we are going to be doing a nature scavenger hunt. I've put together a list of items that we can find even in our own backyards that we can use as inspiration for our project today. I love to include insects and different nature patterns in my paintings, so I thought we could take a walk and find different colors or objects and use those as inspiration. We can paint the patterns and try to match the colors. Um, if you want to take photos of your scavenger hunt list, I'd love to see them if you want to put them together in a grid. I'll show you some of the stuff that I found before we start the project. If you want to take a photo of each of these items and put them together in a photo grid, that's awesome and I'd love to see it. You can post it on the comments on the Mary C. Facebook page when they post the video. Um, if you don't and you just want to take a look at them, that's awesome too. I would like for you to at least save three of your objects so that we can use them in the project that is going to follow. So go ahead and find your stuff and I'll meet back with you here. Okay, I have all my objects here and I'm ready to go. Excuse the dirt, it's coming off the objects, but I don't mind a little dirt. So I'm going to take a look at these objects and create a series of mini paintings. I'm gonna start with something fairly simple. We're going to look at the pattern in this wood and try to recreate some of the details in the pattern of the wood. I'm going to use watercolor. You can use colored pencil or acrylic paint, whatever you choose. This is really about looking at the patterns more than it is the medium. So I'm going to start by making this color in the wood. I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like a silvery color. There's a little bit of brown. You know, when we see wood, we want to paint brown because we think um, wood's brown but it's not always. We need to look at the actual color instead of the color that we think it might be. So I'm gonna use a little bit of blue and a little bit of brown and just kind of create this gray wash. You can barely see it. And I'm using kind of a cool brown. And it doesn't matter if I get it perfect. This is practice. This is just learning to do these details. my first wash. It's probably hard for you to see on camera how much of the color is actually. Sticking to the paper. But I'm going to have it a little darker up top and have it fade down a little. And I'm going to let that dry. All right, now that that's dry, I'm going to take a darker brown here. And I'm just going to start looking at some of these patterns in the wood. If you want to get a really thin line, again, um, don't, 
don't just press your whole brush all the way straight down. I put my wrist down and then hold the brush at a distance from the page so it's easy to get a thin line. I want some of the lines to be thicker, some of the lines to be thinner. Just looking at the wood and seeing Some of the lines should be darker, some of the lines should be lighter. A motif is when you repeat shapes and patterns. I'm going to do a nice natural motif. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take the yellow of this leaf, or of this petal, excuse me, and I'm going to create a series of organic circles. They're going to be kind of irregular. And I'm not going in with just straight yellow. I'm mixing a little bit of orange and really trying to match it to the color. Let me see if I can match this to this color. Let's see here. Here's a piece of scrap paper. When I have trouble mixing a color, yeah, it's pretty good. See, if I had just gone in with just the yellow, I don't know, it's about right. It's a little, it needs a little more orange, so I'm going to add a little orange to it. Okay, I'm going to make a series of this circle shape, this kind of scalloped organic. I'm just looking at the shape of this, but using the color from the flower. I do one kind of going off the page here. I'm just going to fill my page up with these. All right, I've used the shape of this oval as the inspiration for the shape for these ovals. This is an organic shape. An organic shape is a shape that occurs in nature. Um, it's usually got a little more curvy lines. It's maybe a little more flowy and irregular. You can see these scalloped edges here. A geometric shape is a shape that's a little more rigid. It could be like a square or a perfect circle or an octagon. 
they're usually based on math principles, but we are focused on organic shapes right now. So I've used the organic shape from this oval as the inspiration for the ovals in my motif. And now, since this is mostly dry, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw out the shape of this leaf with this black pen and kind of overlap it with these ovals. So I'm just going to take my pen and I'm gonna look at the shape of this leaf carefully. It's hard because it's not flat, so I'm gonna to try to press it kind of flat, or maybe I'll try to hold it like this. I'm just gonna go in, I see it's very thin at the top, and it goes out, and then it comes in some, comes back out. There we go. I've got this thin stem down here. And I'm not lining it up perfectly with the oval. I'm just going to start drawing these organic shapes of the leaf. I'm just going to repeat the shapes in my motif. Now I can leave it like this, but I think I'm gonna go in and do a nice wash of this orange on top, this darker orange in the leaves. If you're gonna do this, make sure on a separate piece of paper that if you used pen, make sure that your pen doesn't run. I'm using a pen that doesn't wash away in the water. So let's see here, it's kind of orange. Oh, it needs to be a little more red. It's fairly close. All right, so I finished my leaf motif. On to the next one. All right, I love the greens in this, so I wanted to use this for my next mini painting. And this one's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just going to take my greens and try to mix the green until you get it right. If you have a green that's really cool like this, you might wanna add a little bit of yellow. and try to, to get the green similar. You can mix the colors in your watercolor palette. I have to do a video on that another time. I'm gonna go around the edges like this with my greens. I thought I was recording on that, but I must have hit the wrong button. But I've just taken the greens and I'm I'm just trying to look closely at the objects I've picked up and seeing what I can learn from them. And you can do that with your own mini paintings. Whatever you collected, just take a look at it and see what patterns you can create. Doesn't have to look exactly like it. We're just looking at inspiration here. All 
All right, so there you have a few ways that we can use our objects we found in nature to create different little mini paintings and get inspiration from different patterns and colors and textures that we see in nature. We talked about organic and inorganic shapes. We talked about creating a motif and maybe using some irregular edges and, and some variety in our work. You can go on and create even more. I've created more little mini paintings um, off camera, so you can create as many as you want. Uh, if you complete this project, I'd love to see what you did. Please let me know or you can share it with the Mary C. Facebook page. And I'll look forward to seeing you next week with another video lesson. Bye.